Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing an offset of an image using Inkscape. Now, disclaimer, I am not an Inkscape expert. I am pretty beginner actually, but I found this way to get an offset on an image and I wanted to share it with all of you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open Inkscape on my Mac. I just have a MacBook Pro laptop. Inkscape works pretty flippin' slow on it, so bear with me. Once it opens up, I'm going to go to File and then Import, and I'm going to add a photo of a design that I created. It's just a text, but I made it a PNG. When I upload it, I'm going to keep all of the default settings the same. I don't change anything here. So there's my image. Now the next step I don't know if is even necessary, but I'm going to remove the background from this image even though it does not have a white background. I'm just going to take it away just in case. To do that, I'm going to go to Path, Trace Bitmap, and then under Multiple Scans, I'm going to click Remove Background and hit OK. So you can just exit out of that window and we'll do the offset now. So the way I'm going to show you how to do this offset is for images specifically. To offset text, it's a little bit different. Um, I can do a video on that if you would like to see it. But to do an offset for an image, for some reason when I try to do outset or linked offset, it just doesn't work. So we're gonna use the paint bucket. Basically what this does is create a little like outer fill around each letter and that will eventually become our offset. I'm gonna click on this little paint bucket and then I'm gonna make sure all my settings are correct. So I want it to be fill by alpha, my threshold at 15, and then close gaps will be none. I am going to change the grow and shrink by uh, sizing. I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger and I'm gonna change it to point, which is PT at the very bottom. And I'm going to make it 20. And this is just the size of the border that you're going to have around your letters. I would just play around with this to see what you like best. You can always make it thicker or thinner. It's just totally up to you. I like 20. Um, it's a pretty thin outline, so if you want a little bit thicker, I would increase that number. I'm going to change the color of my letters. This is total personal preference. I just like to change it because that's what color I want my offset to be, but it's all going to show us the same color anyway. So I'm going to go back with my paint bucket and I'm going to just click on each individual letter. These are kind of separated because it's a PNG, so um, you just have to click on everything on its own. So I'm going to click on everything and as you can see as I'm clicking, it everything gets thicker. Once you're done paint bucketing, you're going to go back up to the selector tool, which is that arrow in the upper left hand corner, and you're going to drag a box around all of your letters or your design. And then you're going to go up to object and then group and that's going to make everything one big thing and put it together i forgot to do the little dot on my eye so i'm just going to go back to my paint bucket i'm going to fill it in really quick and then go up to selector drag a box around everything and regroup them together so if you ever forget anything you can just paint bucket again and then add them to the group it's no big deal so now i have my offset selected i'm going to go up and hit this button to move it to the back and you can see that my original design is now in the front, it's still black. So I have my regular design and then I have my teal offset. So I'm gonna go up to file, save as, and I'm gonna save it as my offset and save it as a plain SVG, not an Inkscape SVG. So now I'm gonna go back to my desktop and I'm gonna open design space. I'm going to upload the images again. You can ignore those because I've done this before. So I'm going to go to upload images and then I'm going to click on my offset SVG and it's going to tell me that it's not compatible but I just click continue because it works. So there's your image, continue, and then you'll just upload your regular image, the one that you uploaded into Inkscape and add both of those to your canvas. They are very different sizes, but that's okay. We can just resize them. I'm gonna bring the black one to the front because that's gonna be our top layer. So I'm gonna go to Arrange, Send to Front, and then I'm gonna line up the top of the F and I'm just gonna resize until they're kind of about the same. And then I'm going to highlight both of them, go up to Align and then hit Center. And that's going to make sure that they're perfectly aligned and sized the right way. You can drag the top layer away and then highlight the offset. 
As you can see, since it's an SVG, it's all separated. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing and then just weld it together. And then I'm going to bring the black back to the front, align it again. Um, I'm going to make it white just so I can see what it's going to look like. Those are the colors I'm actually going to cut with. So I'm going to now highlight it and resize it to fit my tumbler. I'm going to do about three and a half inches high, which will make it a little bit over two and a half inches wide. And there we go. I'm going to cut it and I will be right back. Okay, so I cut my teal offset and my white lettering. I put transfer tape on the white part, and now I'm going to take my parchment paper, cover up the teal, and line up my letters. You guys have seen me do this technique before with my patriotic sunflower, so I'm just gonna do the exact same thing. This decal is going to be going on this V-split tracksuit style tumbler that I made. Um, it's going to go on the pink part on the bottom. I don't want to cover up the flowers on the top. I just want it to be clean and pretty. I'm setting up my tumbler to stand straight by leaning the top of it up against my computer, which you can't see, but there's no secret gravity trick. I just have it pushed up against my computer. I'm going to peel the backing off of this decal. It should be pretty easy to peel off because it's a thicker layer since it's technically two decals on one. So, but still be careful. You don't want to mess up your decal pulling off the back. Applying this decal, I'm going to use the point of my V-split to help me center the decal and get it lined up correctly. So I'm putting that fueled right kind of in the middle of that point where it will fit. And then I'm just going to push it down and then I kind of pull out the edges of the transfer tape to make sure that everything lays flat. And then I'm just going to rub it down with my finger and make sure everything is stuck really well before I try to pull that transfer tape off. So that's it. Hopefully this tutorial helps you in creating offsets with images using Inkscape. I just learned how to do this, so I'm no expert, but hopefully this will help you. And I'm gonna go epoxy this little baby. See you guys later, bye.